I got a considerable amount of pushback on my video uh, about Perry Stone that his revival is he's a money changer and his revival is nothing but offerings for his bank account and those who are in league with him are also deceivers and I mispronounced uh, uh, Jettison Franklin and I might have gotten his first name wrong but he's a pastor in league with Perry Stone and Perry Stone has such a big name you know he's regarded as having the power of God so when you have that name above all lying signs and wonders Perry Stone you're gonna draw the crowds and you're gonna increase your offerings and this is what a good businessman does but that's the problem. It's a business. It's not the church. It's not the ecclesia called out from. It's not the ecclesia that serves Christ. It's a an abominational church that sets itself up as God, Satan himself. And people are having dreams that they say are from God confirming Perry Stone is a prophet. These are lying signs and wonders. This is the, this is the day that we live in, the perilous times that is recorded in 2 Timothy 3 and Jesus warned about in Matthew 24 and in other Gospels that many would come in His name saying, I am Christ. And when someone says, I am a man of God and I've got the credentials for it he is he is masquerading as a prophet of God and is deceiving many and those that are deceived are weak minded they have no knowledge of the scriptures beyond for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and they do not go into the word because they don't love the word they love the dreams and they love the stories, but they do not love the truth. And because they don't love the truth, God has given them strong delusion that they should believe a lie and that they should be damned. These are the ones who will say, Lord, Lord, didn't I prophesy in your name? Didn't I cast out devils? Didn't I visit the sick? All these things, they will... They will argue to the point of gnashing their teeth against the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who will tell them depart from me I never knew you you workers of iniquity in outer darkness go and they go in a everlasting shame and contempt against the Christ of God whom they crucify to themselves daily, having fallen back into perdition. Those who were once tasted of the Holy Spirit and the good word of God become offended at the conviction of the Holy Spirit. They, they become offended at the persecutions of shining a light in a dark place, and they become offended at the testimony of Christ. And so they no longer will go with Him and follow Christ and they depart from the faith. They fall back into perdition. They depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing, seductive spirits, demons, and doctrines of devils, and cunning men, businessmen, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their consciences seared as with a hot iron. They are seared from Hearing God, they are they have gone up, gone away like Balaam after the reward of iniquity, and they suppose gain is godliness. They show you their large bank account and they say, "Look how the Lord has blessed me." But they are liars and deceivers, and they are apostles found to be liars. And it's no strange thing because Satan himself can transform himself. He transforms himself as an angel of light so that he may deceive these people 
who do not know cannot cease from sin. And so they justify their sinfulness and they mock those that are holy and they refuse to repent unto godly sorrow because they are reprobate in the faith. I hope you can receive this because it's meat, it's not milk. <laughs>